Right there guys, we're here at Tenterden Trout Water and uh, I went to Deep Springs yesterday and it's bank holiday weekend I thought I'd treat myself to a little morning's uh, catch and release um, here with my 10 foot 7 weight Sunray Volition I've got a Black Daddy Long Legs with Orange Legs on the point I've got a Bibio on the middle dropper and I've got a size 14 Black Snatcher on the top fly now the owner said that it's been wasn't fishing that great yesterday but I've had a few good days prior just thinking with those black flies on top if there's anything hatching like buzzers you know into midges or anything small you've got a good chance of catching those fish what I might do a few cars down here and see if I can get anything but um, I've only got a little bit of uh, time left on my camera I've got about 30 minutes footage so I need to be a little bit selective about when I record. Let's get down here. Get a few casts in. I remember when I bought my first expensive rod, the Sage Method. I came here the second week of owning it. The first time I used it, it was a frost on these steps. I slipped down these and broke the tip. I was absolutely livid. <laughs> okay. Right, okay. That's all right. I don't think you've got to your fly, they do tend to twizzle around your main line. There's not a lot you can do about that, really. Fish into the winds, because that's where all the nymphs are going to be. With the toe of the water. And there we go, I just had a take. But missed it. Crap. That was on hang too. And uh, shoddy knots from me. I need to redo my flies, I think. Shows you that those uh, snatches work though. If you're using droppers, guys, number one, always use barbless hooks so the fish can spit your fly out. And secondly, double check your knots like I didn't do there. What a knob. Ah, oh, mate, that's my own fault, absolutely. Bad, bad times, guys. Right, change of leader. All right, after losing that fly, I've come down to the main lake. I've got a black rubber leg daddy, black snatcher, and a blob on the top dropper to pull the fish into the cast, and hopefully they'll take one of the other two flies situated next to the blob. So I'm gonna go in the corner, the wind's going that direction. That's always a good bet if you want to find fish. So, oh, sheep, sheep and sheep poo everywhere, guys. I'd like to sit your day up, slipping in sheep turd the second you close the gate. That really put me in a good mood. Oh, well. <laughs> it happens. It's quite a natural way to keep your grass in check. This has dried up lovely now. This was really, really bad. But I was here last time, really sludgy. Yeah, I think that corner's gonna do the business today. Yeah, it's where the wind's blowing. Let's put a few cars out. Stands out a mile and pulls in. The rainbows to have a quick look. It's the figure of eight retrieve, guys. It's very bright today. So that's why I haven't gone with really any lures today. Hoping that black snatch is going to imitate some of the emerging midges I can see coming out of the wall, but they're absolutely tiny. It's one of the difficult things with tenterden is to ignore the, the uh, 
carp which are jumping out the water. There's water, water striders there. Definitely spring is well on the way guys. This bit here is very, very deep. And it's all about finding the fish. So I probably should use Montana's more here. They are kind of the number one fly for tungsten trout water, black and green. So I often stop my retrieve. And sometimes I can prompt a fish to have a look and then when you start pulling away it locks up tight. That's right, my daddy long legs it's all clung together and This is why droppers really annoy me. But I don't like, I only like fishing droppers if you don't retrieve the fly. You're better off actually fishing just the one dropper. So it doesn't twizzle around your line so much. There we go. Moan over. Yeah, what a what a rod, guys! The Sunray Volition. Really recommend it. Quite expensive, but then all things that are good are. Guys, let's see. That was literally static. Oh, what fly is that taken? Whoa! Hello, 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 hello. Oh yeah. I bet you that's taking the bloody blob. Guarantee it. That was half a bloody run, wasn't it? Don't, don't know how big this is. Shaking its head nicely. Whew. Oh, oh, mate. Hello, hello, hello. Go, what a fight, what a fight. Oh, the fish really do. Scrap here at that's awesome. Right, it's coming in, it's coming in, it's coming in. Let's see what this is. My line just absolutely torpedoed off. Right, it's not the blob. That's the main thing. <laughs> I'd like to catch on traditional flies if possible. Go. That's half going, guys. Get an arm, eh, here. It's fish is fine better than the fish I caught with Diva Springs yesterday. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, mate. What a, what a scrap. What a scrap. Barbless look, guys, so. Oh, there we go. See ya. No, it took, it took the law. It took the law. Is this one of those, I bet you it swam into it and it trowel looked itself. Which does sometimes happen, guys. One fly, two flies, three flies. Yeah, it's, got caught in the side. That happens sometimes, guys, just when you're, um, you know, you swim into it and it catches them. So I'll make sure this gets back on. That's why it's going to be such a good fight. It happens. Oh no, 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 he's taking it. He's obviously gone for it. It's just in the side of its mouth. Oh, there we go. I thought I foul looked it. It is a legitimate catch. It's gone for the, it's gone for the lot. God, they do scrap here. He's obviously gone for it and he's 
hooked him on outside of the mouth, that's why I've got no control over him. Here we go. There we go. There we go. Just getting back in straight away. Right, if you get a fish that turns upside down, guys, the water is warming up. So, wet your hands and literally just get him Stop facing the right way up. Support him. There we go. Just let him swim off. There we go. It's after a minute, after relaxing. Whew. Come on, get out of the weeds, you. And there he goes, he swam off. Awesome. There you have it, guys. Another Martin Williams pattern. It's like a black and green or chartreuse, however you pronounce it, fly pattern. Um, it's expensive, like £2 a fly for Martin Williams, but they bloody work. You want to catch fish, you go to Martin Williams, you can guarantee there's a good chance you'll catch fish. Here we go. It's a nice brownie too. Changed to a dam as well, guys. Nice long lead, a slow retrieve. Look at that. Lovely. Got such a long lead though, I can't. <laughs> oh. A Dawson's Olive Damsel. Let's try and get my some in here to net in this fish. I missed half the scrap. Get my camera out. There we go. Good spots on this beastie. Yeah. What a lovely fish. Absolutely lovely fish. Lovely fish. Oh. Get him straight back. Straight back. There he goes. And he's off. Awesome. <laughs>